Hello everybody and welcome to another episode uh, where we're going to continue with our little let's see let's get the music going again I'm not sure if the music is actually gonna gonna pop up or what yeah there we go so welcome back to a uh, second uh, episode of uh, Sokoto or Nigeria I believe I would call it technically it was a caliphate so I'm not entirely sure if it will be correct to call it uh, Nigeria or what but anyways we're here um, yes, last time we were industrializing and building up our empire in Africa. So we're getting somewhere. As you can see, we're almost the size of France. Even though our population is completely different, but it is slowly and steadily uh, improving. Okay, so what we see here is that we still are in big need of wood. And I have been thinking about this for a long time now. Well, a bit at least. We want to get some wood over here. Ooh, there's a lot of wood I can get there, actually. Sure, let's get 15 uh, wood there as well. So now we're going to be building for quite a long time, as you can see. Building uh, government administrations. I probably want to get started on making our military because we got absolutely no navy whatsoever. 20? No, 10 to begin with. And you also gotta admire the music that pops up. <laughs> ah, looks like, uh... Yeah, they made a peace deal with them. But, oh yeah, they can still... S okay. Kind of sad that uh, Great Britain is colonizing that much, but it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. But it's better to have uh, Britain than France, for obvious reasons. Someday we might be able to push them out of uh, out of here, though, at least. The fur, animated fur has... Ooh. Our country is in a state of civil war. What? Oh, god dang. I didn't even know that. I didn't think about that before now. I mean, yeah, I actually never thought about it. Yeah, Britain is going to be on our side, most likely. And you're not going to get interventionism yet, unfortunately. So, we're still lacking in terms of, well, everything. But we're getting somewhere. Uh, no migration control, please. I want to get more people to pop in. We need more migration, but I just hope... They don't start a revolution. Let's see. No, we're still building our economy. We're still doing everything we can. Oof. Yeah, Britain's not helping. You, you kind of disappoint me, Britain. You know that? You do disappoint me. And our own flesh and blood has to win this for us. But the general is kind of bad. Uh, as you can see from the blunder he did. Makes his army a lot weaker, I believe. And now that we first defeated them, they don't have much supplies anymore. So essentially it's just... The morale is just down in the... Dirt, I guess you can call it. Uh, let's see, we're getting more tools going, nice. We're still using Britain's market. To kind of make our own stuff. It's nice because that makes me able to kind of build up my own economy and stuff like that. Yeah, we won that quite easily. I can't do anything. How long would this take? Five years. It is the homeland and also share a heritage. So I could technically do that right now, but yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Later, I want to actually make these a puppet. Sure. I don't care about you. I just want to get this through, because if we can get this one through, and it's going to take a long while, uh, we are going to get more migration over here. Which, again, it's going to help me a lot for... To make my amazing trade union run. 
country. As you can also see, we're getting a little bit of sulfur mines and lead and coal. So this area is actually almost essential for you to get if you're playing a Sokoto like I am. Because with this, you kind of have all the resources you need to build. The only thing you really don't have is, I believe, some fruit. I, I, I might think you actually have fruit. But you don't have uh, sil uh, silk like you have a lot in the Middle East. Which is kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like... If you're under Britain, you already have a lot of those resources under, uh... Well, you have a lot of the resources uh, from Britain's market. As you can see here, we have a crap ton. It's always going to be a need for tools. I, I don't believe, actually, Britain ever has a surplus of tools. So we can actually just make as much tools as we want and make money of it. As long as we have, uh... As long as we... Let's see. As long as we keep a surplus in the country and stuff, I'm gonna make a lot of universities because we wanna get definitely get our research going. I mean, 16, 21 months for atmospheric engines. What are we? Cavemen? <laughs> yeah, I don't care about Yukon. It's not my territory, it's uh, Britain's territory. It just pings me about it for some reason. But the most important thing is we're building up an industry. This place is definitely getting a little bit of urbanization. It's slow, but it is coming. And they are making money as well, which is amazing. And we got migration to open. Amazing. And now we're going to get dedicated police force because we do not want them to have all the power. Landowners can go something something because I don't care about them. Yeah, naval base, naval base, naval, naval base, naval base. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm under Britain because that kind of saves us the trouble of having to fight something like France or America or something. America is kind of strong, but they're not that strong. It's a good while before I even catch up to Britain. I mean, Britain was the dominant power until the 1900s. Then, actually, America really took after them. Believe it or not. Uh, we're going to be in a little bit of a bureaucracy uh, shortfall. If you go through with this one. So I will have to build more uh, government administrations. Yeah, I can't wait until you get that one. Central Archives is going to be a while. But the most important thing is we're getting a bit of sulfur mines. And I know Britain doesn't have much in terms of that. But our industry is quite freaking slow even now. So let's go over to Iron Frame Buildings. It increases our construction by quite a bit. Maybe... Yeah, why not? You gotta take a little bit of a gamble here, boys. It, this is gonna drive me definitely a little bit of deficit when it comes to iron, but you definitely need to do that to get your economy booming. I mean, we're already quite far into the game. And hey, what's better than to increase your economy? Plus, it's gonna also increase my... Let me see. It's also gonna increase my state construction efficiency in this place. By a lot. So it's going to make things uh, build actually even faster. So we're going to make try to make this into a industri really industrialized area. This is where all the goodies is going to be. And he got rubber. Not that I can make it. Unfortunately. But the most important thing is that we are trying to build up our economy and it's going to take a while as you can see. So this game is, I know it's probably not the bread and butter for a lot of you guys considering it's mostly looking at the building and stuff. But I find it to be fun. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's kind of good because uh, they're in the same amount of uh, votes as uh, Agrarian Party which has industrialists. Which is good. Because if you can get them in legit, 
oh, it's gonna help me make my country so much faster, better. Uh, I have been thinking though, I'm not 100% sure if gameplay videos is actually my kind of thing. So I have been thinking like maybe I should ask for uh, answers from you guys. Like, do you guys think I should do gameplay videos, commentary videos, or something else? Because I know that in terms of thumbnails and stuff like that, I'm absolutely horrible. Unfortunately, but yeah, I can't do much about it until I improve a bit about it. I guess you can say. Uh, that one's gonna take itself. We're gonna get the... Uh, yep. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna get this one. Try to get some people to believe in them. But yeah, as I said, I am really incredibly unsure what I want to do. Oh, I can actually just have them. For whatever reason, it seems like Conservative Party always wants to beat it. I might as well just let him stay in. It doesn't really hurt it much. Yeah. And there we go. We have that one too. Let's build a couple more of these before I do anything else. I know it's a little scummy to build them, even though I know I will lose money, but I just need a bureaucracy. So I can actually not have that tax waste. That waste is money in general for me, and it's not good. <laughs> you preferably always want to keep positive in bureaucracy. But my country is getting bigger, so... Yeah. I guess I'll have to do this for now. I might want to take in uh, religious schools as well, just to begin with. It gives some power to the believers, but I definitely think like uh, it's good because then we get our literacy a little bit up. And here we go. Boom, boom. As you can see, our economy is already booming a little bit from doing that. And the fact that I'm building a wood plantation is amazing in itself because well, we're always making money out of, of it because, well, there's always an income for it because of the hardwood. You use hardwood to make luxury uh, things. Let's see. Oh, which kind of, kind of reminds me. I actually should definitely try to... Huh. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Sure. Here we go. Much better. Our technology is kind of backwards, but at the same time, it's like, you just got to do it. Thank you. And it also helps our economy a little bit in the future. And would you look at that? It doesn't look like Britain's actually doing anything else here now, which is kind of good. <laughs> I could, I got my own little place here. That's kind of weird. I, I, I pray to God that Britain only stays here in uh, Niger Delta and uh, South Cameroon. Because if they go up here, that's going to definitely begin to annoy me a little bit. But sooner or later, if I can get up to that area uh, where they are economically, I will fight them off and hopefully grab the territories here. Make myself actually have the entire place. Hey, look, I got the little territory. So I can build a small amount of stuff. Oh, there's also sulfur mines. Oh, nice. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. There we go. You're finally getting a little bit of a navy. Uh, that's good, because if you ever want to fend out Britain, you need a big navy. They have the biggest navy there is, and, well, you can't really do much if you don't have that. So, the thing is, I kind of miss having the mod under here, because that would show me the research up here, show me my naval power, army power, prestige, and stuff under here, instead of having to go look through all the other places. But at the same time, it's like, I want to keep this vanilla, so even though I'm used to that, I'm going to try my best to 
use it like it's supposed to. Could have mods. I also got tipped that I should definitely try to stream uh, Europa Universalis. Uh, I might, I can, I can try, I can try. I know it's been out for quite a long time, but the thing is, I absolutely do not know how to play that game. Uh, I try to play as the the Indians or the natives in America. I got absolutely wiped out by the Western powers later. Mm. I also tried to play Norway, but it's kind of hard to do anything because you always get wiped out by major powers, really. But I can always try uh, to make a couple of videos on that later. Could be interesting. Let's see. So this one is beginning to get hurt a bit, it seems. Yep. Kind of annoying, actually, that you don't have 100%, but it is what it is. And ear is trying to throw us out, but I'm not gonna let them. And I have stronger army than they do, obviously. They can't really do much against me. <laughs> and our okay, so I might actually just do three in each, so I don't do too much money out of it. I mean, I do want technology to go faster, but I don't want it to take my economy down to the bottom. And how is our military looking? We got two flotillas at the moment. That's good. Also provides uh, some income for our shipyard because they produce military ships for us. Yeah, let's try that. Traditionalist, pious, moralist, and patriarchal. Yeah. Still the same bed. I kind of wish sometimes you could get a, a random uh, randy fire on that so that suddenly you might get one that actually is like, yeah, let's support the woman. You know, let's support him. And not just, uh, yeah, we hate the woman. Blah, 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 blah. Like they do. Aw, look at this. Isn't this cute? 107 versus 4. And I just wiped them out like nothing ever happened. This is also going to incre uh, increase my uh, colonization rate. So I'm going to be able to colonize this much faster as well. I think it times it like by 2 or something. No, yeah, no thank you. We don't need you here. Go away. Wait. Oh, I, I don't have a general. What? Did he die? Okay, he has offensive, explorer, mountain expert, and moral recovery. I think I'm going to take this guy. He has some pretty good traits himself. Yeah, let's go with him. Mobilize and please put them on offensive. Thank you. I was stupid of you. Yeah. Try to take my territory back when I'm ch switching to general. You're not smart, are you? <laughs> And I got to chill on the construction pretty soon because, as you can see, my I'm beginning to pay interest. Even though it's not that big of a deal just yet. I mean, the construction is the main uh, expense right now. So if I build, build one thing at a time, I think I'm going to be okay. I'm sure. I'm also building a bunch of wood. Because, hey, wood is always income in this market. Here we go. Making the money back again. For some reason. Now you see that. Mm. It says we need coal. So I guess we can build a little bit of coal, I suppose. Uh, yeah, maybe two of them. 
it's kind of nice to be able to have some coal so I can sell into the market. Plus, it gives my workers something to do. I mean, we've got almost 3 million people living there, and there's a lot of pop growth. Ooh. This area has 1.9, 2.98, 700, 700, 1 million, 42,000. Yeah, this is pretty much just a desert, so it's pretty useless. As you can see, it's all the building much faster, so I'm really happy. And as you can see, you also get a modifier now. Con colonial growth multiplied by two times due to colonization rights. The thing is, before, when you won against a war, if they tried to take you over, you actually gained the entire territory at, one at once. But they changed that, so now you only gain it... Uh, well, not through the normal process, like usual. But I, I kind of like it better this way, because, you know, it's other people's chance to actually try to take it before you. Spark engine. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we go for railways. I want to do that, because that makes it easier to research it for me. It takes, a less, like, takes less time, and I can like, begin to make railways. The problem is going to be that we are going to be have needing steel by a lot. Mm, where's the steel here, actually? There it is. As you can see, they already require a crap ton. <laughs> but at the same time, it's going to be like, yeah, it's okay. As you can see, our profit is definitely increasing. That's six. This is going to increase my money in, in, income, as you can see, there we go, making money. Which is good, because uh, at this point we just need to, you know, make the British market just like, yeah, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta buy stuff in Sokoto, you know, in Nigeria. Yeah, they got the good stuff. They got the good coal, they got the good food, they got the good uh, model industries. Yeah, we gotta buy from them. You know, let's uh, give our money to them make an entire market in their country it's gonna be so much better for us thank you <laughs> i mean you can already see if you're pretty good when it comes to this i mean uh, we're losing an investment pool but i mean we got like four million in that doesn't really matter too much for me there we go and as you can see, the investment pool is building a lot of random stuff, but I believe it's stuff that also helps you. I believe they're kind of like, yeah, you know, maybe this would make a profit and here and here and here. So, I mean, we're already making quite a big bank on this. Uh, iron is actually still expensive. Ooh. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, we're making a lot of money from doing that. Mm. I think the next thing I actually might think of getting instead of this... I think I'm gonna get railways. I, I believe that's gonna be a little bit better. Just because, well, after all, uh, railways, I can then begin to build here. Increase my infrastructure here. And we're already getting a bit of uh, engines. So that's going to kind of help me. Uh, that, that way I can increase the production of... Wait. United Tribes? Where is that? Where is that? Exactly. Ah... Yeah, I'm gonna focus on uh, getting railways going. 14 months. Not too bad. Because it's gonna help me a lot better than well, whatever, whatever else I was thinking of building. <laughs> and hey, we got more coal! Just see that profit. Almost 6,000. Went from 5.6 thousand to 5.9. That's a pretty steady increase, I would say. And you also got places like these where they produce. This is pretty much a luxury coffee. And it still makes profit by a small margin. 
yeah, really small actually. Kind of sad, but it is what it is. I could go for this. Or I could, for some reason, go for these. Uh, for now, I'm going to go for this. And I'm going to see if I can maybe get something good going. Mm, let's see. Ooh, Guaranteed Liberties. I would love to have that one, actually. But the thing is, I kind of want to go for this one first. But for that, you don't need more administrations. Unfortunately. And for that, I think I might... After Railways, I'm going to get the central archives because well i, I definitely need to get some uh, more bureaucracy going i can't live off this little <laughs> let's see can we build one sulfur mine seriously i mean i can also build some hay actually and even that has better yeah I mean, I got the 11 infrastructure here and free there for some reason. Or I could try to increase the production of this. Hey, let's do that. You know, instead of focusing only on coal and iron and steel, let's focus a little bit on clothing. I mean, the British have a lot of it for a good reason. So it's only, you know, nice if we just like help them a little bit with producing. So he's going to be like, hey, British, they're British people. If you guys want to buy more clothes, come to our stores. It's in Nigeria, don't you worry. You know, it's good stuff, very good stuff. You would not uh, say no to it. It's the best stuff there is. The best quality stuff. It's proper British uh, cotton. I'm gonna make these my vassal now. That way I have a little bit of extra income as well. The Fury Market. Hmm. So they are... Monarchy, Autocracy, Right to the Assembly, Traditionalism, Isolationism. Okay, so they don't care about anybody. So I can technically vassal now... Wait. Yeah, I could vassalize them as well. That way I have an access directly to Egypt and Tripolitania. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Wouldn't mind that, actually. Getting some more food going. Getting some more coffee, for whatever reason. Even though I would say I don't think it's profitable. Oh, it is. But tiny bit. The smallest amount possible. There we go. How is my general, by the way? Yeah, he's still the same good, same good. Good stuff. And as you can see, we're definitely increasing our production of good stuff. Yeah, silk is expensive, but the rest is pretty good. We're making money. Steamers. I don't even have steamers, so good for you guys. And seeing as they are losing, they're probably going to give up pretty soon. I know this isn't the best place uh, to vassalize someone, but I just want to do it. Just to do it. The less countries that are around me, the more that I control, the better it is for me. Uh, okay, let's go for Central Archives. We need to get that big time. And there we go, we are winning. They're gonna give up pretty soon, so it doesn't matter. Even if they actually did win the few battles now, we still would vassalize them because they, yeah, they gave up. And boom, we got diplomatic packs. We got, damn, they don't have a lot. Oh, yeah, damn, look at, look at the infrastructure. What, what, what is up with that actually? Why do the AI always build more than they can chew? It's like, they have doubled their infrastructure limit. And it's kind of stupid. 
Eh, at least we're colonizing air big time. We still have colonization rights, which is good. And I'm gonna actually let's see. Okay, uh, maybe I should actually... Do I have a port here yet? I do indeed. I can only have two. Huh. Okay. The good thing is I have... Well, uh, I now have railways, which is going to help me. So I can... Vadai has a crap. Let's just do it like this. Always try to build a couple of extra because if I go over to using uh, the railways as transport, it's gonna go down big time. Hey, at least we're doing good. Our production is increasing, our money is increasing. Uh, our economy isn't the best. I mean, let me see what uh, the others are. Yeah, if Great Britain is like 124 million and I'm all that way down here. I mean, pretty good considering Japan is independent and they are same rank as me. Yeah, I'm doing actually quite decent for my, uh, well, for my location. Right, French to pick to. Oh no, you ain't. Please don't tell me you are. Yeah, I don't I don't care about you guys. You can seriously I was gonna say jump out a window, but that would be wrong. <laughs> uh, let's get try to get slaver banned. Actually, they're probably gonna hate me for that. Yes, they are. But I don't think they are gonna actually try to. Doesn't does not look like they're actually gonna try to uh, take a revolution. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they are. And uh, no, no thanks. I don't have I haven't taken enough power away from them just yet to do it. Unfortunately. But while they're doing that, maybe I can do this. Nope, they still hate that. Yes. That's kinda sad. I mean, I can prop potentially get them into government again. Can I? Yeah, they don't mind. They still don't like me, but if everything works out well, I can do it still good. And again, they're starting a revolution. Of course. Can't you guys just be nice with me for a second? Like, I don't know, just... I just wanted to, I just wanted to do something good, man. Do you guys hate that too, huh? Minus ten, minus twenty. I could go for belt building actually then. Yeah. They would they yeah, they don't mind that too much. So let's do that. And now that we have gotten some railways and stuff, that means I can start to build up my Industry again. Woohoo! So, so far we're doing so good. And I think this is where I'm... Oh. Oh! What's going on here? Oh. Oh, you guys are just fighting uh, them. Okay. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and follow if you like. Uh, if you want to, hit that bell. Then you know when my next video will be out. And see what kind of way I'm going to take this YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.